the sunny street continues today, I think there should be some events around the area too. I guess I'll check it out. And what I read today, how about this one in terms of flying drones and the types of frequency bands that you could use. This one says, newly adopted FCC rules allow drone operators to use 5 gigahertz band. As it says here, the Federal Communications Commission has adopted initial rules allowing emergency and commercial operations of uncrewed aircraft systems in the 5 gigahertz spectrum band for wireless communications. Under the new rules, drone operators can obtain direct frequency assignments in a portion of the 5030 MHz to 5091 megahertz. Under the new rules, drone operators can obtain direct frequency assignments in a portion of the 5030 MHz to 5091 MHz band for non-networked operations to provide UAS flights with reliable two-way communications to ensure safe drone integration into the U.S. national airspace system, the FCC said Thursday. The rules rely on dynamic frequency management systems to manage and coordinate access to the spectrum. So that's kind of interesting, I guess. And it says to enable operations in the band during the period before the systems are in operation, UAS operators can submit a request to the Federal Aviation Administration for de-confliction and approval. Upon FAA authorization, applicants should complete an online registration form with the FCC. The interim mechanism will be made available to operators after the rules become effective and the FCC announces that it will begin accepting registrations. The Commission adopted the initial rules after it sought feedback on its proposed use of the 5 GHz spectrum for drone operations amid the increasing use of unmanned aircraft in the United States for various applications, including search and rescue missions, infrastructure inspections, medicine delivery, and news gathering. According to the FCC, providing a dedicated frequency band for drones will avoid interference with other wireless devices. That makes me think too, I know this talks a lot about, for example, emergency operations and so forth. How about for things like drone shows, like here for example, when you have all these people with various wireless signals and so forth, apparently it disrupted the operations. Would this actually help in that instance as well? Interesting, I guess, overall in terms of the plans down in the US for drones. And in terms of drones for emergency use, how about this one? This is a good story of the police department finding a lost child, I guess, fairly promptly with the use of a drone. It says, earlier this week, our deputies responded to a call of a lost three-year-old child that had wandered off into a 100-plus acre cornfield. Given the nighttime conditions and large area to be searched, deputies quickly assessed the need for a drone with thermal capabilities. The Fond du Lac Police Department Technology Response Group assisted and within minutes, the drone operator was able to direct ground units to the child. Great use of the tech. It says instances like these highlight the importance of technology and collaboration amongst law enforcement in our community. Without the use of the thermal imaging drone, it would likely have taken deputies and other responders hours to search the entire cornfield and the outcome may have been different. So that's kind of cool that they showed the whole video and stuff too of them searching for the child. Usually for these cornfields, they often have these during Halloween here anyways. They're intentionally made to confuse people in a maze. I guess like in this instance though, like they mentioned, it would take forever, for example, if you're trying to search by foot. And in the end, it says at approximately 9.30 p.m., the drone located a heat spot in the middle of the cornfield and was able to walk a Fond du Lac County deputy and fire personnel into the cornfield to the location of the possible missing child. At 9.46, deputies advised that they had located the child and that he was uninjured. The child was carried out of the cornfield and then driven back to the farm where he was reunited with his parents. The child was approximately half a mile away from home when he was located. But either way, great story in the use of the tech in my opinion.
Aí. Se quiser.